All right, so problems like this, uh, we're st still going to do the same process we've been talking about before. You want to let u equal the higher power here, so we're going to do that. Uh, let u equal the top one, and then for step two, I would do du equals 4x plus 7. And then we run into a problem here. Okay, if I try and take this and I solve for dx, the problem that we're going to have on this one is that I'm not going to be able to cancel off the exponent as 2, which means that when I substitute everything back in again, I'm not going to have all u's left over. So when you're working through a problem and that happens, you either have to change the u that you've already picked, or you might have to apply a different process in order to solve for it. In this case, we're going to apply a different process since we haven't done any of these type of problems before like this so far. So instead of jumping in and doing the u right away, what I want to do is see if I can change the original problem. Now whenever you have a higher powers on the top, you can actually break this apart into two separate fractions. So how do you do that? Now we've got to reach back to pre-calculus again. This is going to be involving long division. Yeah, long division, you may not have seen it for a long time. You might not have think you'd ever see it again, but we are going to use it again here on this problem. So here's how you're going to set that up. You're going to put x minus 2 on the outside. 2x squared plus 7x minus 3 will go there on the inside. So I'm going to review all this since it may have been a while since you've, you've uh, worked with these kind of problems. x, you want to have it go into 2x squared. You want to ask yourself, what do I have to multiply the x by in order to get 2x squared? And that's going to be a uh, 2x. We're going to multiply that by both things on the outside. So we get 2x squared minus 4x. This is where most people make the mistake is doing the subtraction. So be really careful when you're subtracting this. You're going to do 7x minus negative 4x. So subtracting that's going to give you a positive 11x. You bring down the next term. Now you repeat the process over. You ask yourself, what do I have to multiply x by in order to get 11x? And that's going to be plus 11. Multiply that by both things on the outside, 11x, and you get minus 22. Once again, be really careful with your subtraction. Negative 3 minus a negative means you're going to do negative 3 plus 22, which means you're going to get a remainder of 19. So that tells us that we can rewrite this now as 2x plus 11, and then you're going to do plus 19 over x minus 2. This, this is how you write, your, write this all out. You put your remainder over whatever it is that you're dividing by. So now we can say that this whole thing is equivalently equal to this one here. Since I've split it up into two separate, uh, three separate pieces, I can now integrate each of these three things separately. And that's the whole reason for doing the long division, because now you can do this a lot easier than doing the original problem. So the very first two pieces are just going to be involving my inverse power rule, so I don't have to worry about doing any u substitutions for that. So when I do the integration on it, I'm going to get 2x squared over 2, just integrating this directly, plus 11x I'll get on that one. And I still have this integral left over, which I'm actually going to go ahead and put the 19 on the outside, and then I just have this left over with the dx on top. So this is the part I have to work with the four-step process uh, in order to do it. So again, my u is equal to x minus 2. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so I get du, derivative of x is dx. It's already solved for dx, so I can put that into my problem right here. I can simplify this, x squared plus 11x plus 19, and then when I put that in, I'll just replace the dx with du, and x minus 2, I can put a u in there. So this is essentially 1 over u du, which we know that's going to turn into a natural log. So now, finally down here, we can integrate it. We get natural log, now it would be natural log of u, but I'll just go ahead and put the u back in directly. I'll put x minus 2 here, and then plus c. So I have 19 times natural log x minus 2 plus c. This would be uh, your whole answer, and that this whole thing then would be the integral of the original problem. So again, long division is what you might have to do if you have a higher power on top, and when you originally work with the u's, if it doesn't work out that way, then sometimes long division might help.